Here come the po po. Hey, 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 guys, it's Dead Mama Life here for another face paint. Face paint Friday is what I call it, where I usually face paint on Friday and then I post it for you guys later. And I appreciate you guys being here. Don't forget that I stream live on Twitch uh, Tuesday through Saturday, um, mostly in the evenings, East Coast time. So make sure you come check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash deadmomalive. Also, if you're enjoying my face paints, give those a thumbs up, comment, question, anything you want. Um, please subscribe because that definitely helps out the channel. But we're going to be doing a Jason Voorhees look today. So I hope you guys really enjoy it. We're going to be very much mimicking the last video that we did last time where we kind of just pushed power to through it. Um, I will do a voice commentary and put it all together for you guys. So I hope you guys really enjoy it. It's a really quick, easy, cheap way to do face paints um, for your streams, for Halloween, for kids parties, grown up parties, whatever parties, party all day. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys are all having a great day and enjoyed the face paint so very freaking much. Thank you for being here and I appreciate it. Okay, we're gonna get started here as we gather everything, including our colors. You, my You Can Be face palette as usual and my Marion Clown White. Remember, I post everything in the description. Gotta get the sponges, of course. So I already did one side makeup previous, put the eyelashes on, left the other side plain so I can show you guys what I'm gonna do here. I always take my number four, try to show you guys the sizes. And I'm just going to outline the one side that I did the glam makeup on. accidentally grabbed the wrong brush so we start off with our clown white and we're just going to trace out um the area where we did our glam makeup here because that's where we're going to um kind of make it look like we kind of have you know part of a jason mask taken off of us or something <laughs> i love doing this look because you don't have to cover your whole entire face hey if that's what you want to do that's absolutely okay so this is where we trace it out i'm always giggling because i always do something silly um, so now we're going with our bigger brush and we're just going to fill in all the area where we traced. Um, getting in, I, I tried not to get too much into the hairline because we were making a mask. Some of my face paints, you can see I do get into my hairline depending on the um, character and the look we are trying to give. It just really makes a huge difference here. Like I said, we're just trying to get a mask look going on. Um, trying to avoid baby hairs and I always try to take a sponge um, to you know give it that even look press it out because it also kind of takes uh, the product and spreads it out so you don't have to wear it so thick don't forget to use your Marion setting powder that's really important because it prevents creasing and it also allows you to add layers on top of it without smudging so I just take a big brush and just kind of pat that in there um, I tend to pat on my bottom layer the most um, just because that's our base and we're going to be doing multiple things over the white. So here we're going to continue. So I finished all the rest of the white and I set it with my Marion powder. Um, we're good to go there. Now we're going to continue with our eye. I did put eyelash on the black eye side. I usually don't. But I kind of wanted to give an even look. Last time I did this uh, face paint, it looked a little weird without one eyelash to me. Um, but just depends on what kind of look you're trying to give out there. Um, everybody's different. As you can see, I'm constantly holding my arm because I'm I, I I'm an artist. I I charcoal draw, so for me, it can be a little hard to hold my arm up when I'm usually holding it down to draw. So as you can see, I also drink a lot of caffeine. So holding my arm steady really does help. Um, and I also try to prevent my um, palm from sitting on my face. Um, I have a really bad habit of doing that and I try to prevent that. Um, also in the chat section here, you guys see all the um, little areas you can follow me, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter. Feel free to follow me. I'm Dead Mom Alive everywhere. So here we're just um, finishing up this eye, making sure it looks nice and even. Um, I did set it with the Marion Black Pressing Powder first, and then I went over with um, some Black You Can Be Paint. Um, like I said, I will post all of that in the comments. I'm always looking for something. And you know what the funny thing is, is I had everything ready to go. <laughs> and I'm always still looking for something. But that's okay. See, looking, looking, looking. <laughs> It's because I get, I put things down and I, you know, don't put them back in the same spot. And then I'm like, where did they go? 
So this part took a little longer than I expected. I probably should have did a little bit more cutting and editing it out, but um, I try to stay authentic as possible so you guys can see the full process. My last video was good, but I feel like I cut out a lot of things that maybe people could have seen. Um, I haven't got a lot of feedback on my videos lately, and it would be nice to get some feedback, even if you guys have never done this before, or you have done this and you're a pro, and there's any kind of tips. I am so up for constructive criticism. I don't get offended. Um, so any tips that you guys are willing to give in the comments, I'm absolutely ready to receive and accept. Um, I have, you know, being a 45 year old woman, I do have, you know, a few wrinkles under the eye and I'm always trying to, you know, get that looking better, trying to clean up areas. There we go. Alrighty. Now that we have our, you know, our black eye, we put our setting powder. We're all good to go. Now we're going to put in our red lines from the hockey mask. Um, just take some of that red. You can be face paint. As we look at our reference, I always have a reference up, guys. It's very important to have a reference unless you have that ingrained in your brain. And that's okay if you do. Um, I don't. Um, even though I've done this a face paint several times, I still have to look at a reference picture. Um, as an artist, I think a lot of us tend to do that. Uh, just to make sure we stick to the idea of what we're trying to put out there. And... All that fun stuff. So here I'm just trying to get that look of the hockey mask. Um, this is more of a Jason. I want to say close to part three, four is mask because I believe in part three is where he has the axe down on that side where I have the glam side. So um, I'm pretty sure that's the one that has the red lines in it because not all of the parts do. Um, I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, feel free to look that up yourself. Um, I am a huge fan of horror characters. Um, I do love Jason. Freddy has happened. Freddy and Chucky happen to be my favorite. Um, I know a little bit more about them. Um, maybe I can do a Chucky and a Freddy face paint for you guys. For Freddy, I tend to use a little bit latex. Uh, I use latex more than anything, um, so that's a little bit of a harder process. So here we're just finishing up our line, our red lines for, from the hockey mask. Um, really simple, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I always try to do my best to keep it perfect just because I, like I said, I also stream on Twitch. So I try to give them the best look as possible to make it look as detailed on the camera because for you, you guys see a really big camera. When I switch over to Twitch, it becomes smaller. Next we're going to do our circles from the hockey mask. So I take the end of the cap end of an eyeliner pen and I take some of my black, I put it on a brush and then I just kind of slap it on the edge. You can use the back of your hand as a palette to test it to make sure it's not too clumpy. And then you just start, pay attention to your reference and then you just start applying them uh, per your reference picture, depending on what Jason mask you're doing. They're pretty much all the same. Some of the whole placements are different depending on the mask. Um, but this is what I do to kind of give it that circular motion without having to hand draw them. It makes it a little bit easier. Um, so we just kind of place those all over the place. Um, sorry about the lighting. I do need a new camera, but it's just going to be a while before I got that. I have other obligations. I'm just lucky to have the camera I have now. So we're just going to continue placing them as per uh, the reference picture. And this is why I personally only don't like to do part of it because I don't have to feel, you know, I don't have to do the whole face. Plus my face really hates white and red. I don't know why, but it really does. Now we're just going to fill those little babies in. As you can see, I'm always holding my wrist. I just have a huge habit of holding my wrist. Um, I can't help it. <laughs> it just gives me a little bit more stability. Um, I don't see a whole lot of people doing this, but this is just me. Could I rest my arm on my desk? Yeah, but it just, I have a glass desk, so it makes it all weird. Anyways, we are finished. We went ahead and applied a little bit of a uh, powder to each one. Um, as I'm always searching for things that I need, of course I am. <laughs> what did I drop? Oh, ah, there it is. Anyways, we're going to take a little bit of our clown white after we use our setting powder in each one. And what I do is I just make a little swoosh to kind of give it that depth to make it look like they're actual circles and not um, holes and not just 
plain black circles. Um, I don't know. For me, I just, I like this. You, you don't have to. People do it differently. I've seen many other creators do it their own way, and I think it's fabulous. Either way, you can do it. But as you can see, it kind of pop, pop. It gives it that pop look, <laughs> and I absolutely love that. So we're just going to continue doing that here. And each one, sometimes I forget to wipe off. In between, I tend to wipe off with the paper towel. It makes it easier. We don't want to forget the big one. It gives it that pop look. Um, as a charcoal artist, uh, excuse me, artist, I tend to always add a little bit of 3D popping dimension to some of my face paints. Um, just because that's just visually what I see in my head. Not everybody else sees that. Um, some people may have just left these, you know, just super dark and maybe on your camera you wouldn't be able to tell but I take pictures and I do these videos for you guys and I like to put out my best work as possible when I do them yeah we're just wrapping up yeah see doesn't that look great I think it looks fabulous and then we're going to I'm trying to adjust the light so you guys can see because you know I, I have to have it up bright because I can't see anything now we're moving on to adding our little straps, um, I just take a flat, I think it's a 5 8 brush. Um, like I said, I post everything in my description below, so make sure you check out my products. This is a very easy, cheap, affordable, quick way to do any face paint. So make sure you check out my description everywhere I got anything, always off Amazon, and it's super easy, super cheap. So we just press that on. We always use our setting powder so we can layer. And we don't we avoid creases so i just take a little bit of white wipe it off and we're just going to make a circular motion and mush it in with the black to kind of get of a gray color um, or silver color to make it look like it's more of a buckle we're just going to keep doing that and give it that look in the past i've not done it but i just think it gives it more of an aesthetic look last but not least we're going to line this up with some red to give it that bloody mask look, like maybe somebody just slapped a bloody mask on my beautiful, glamorous face. <laughs> so we're just gonna line this up with a couple of different reds. I just use a plain red to begin with. And then I go in and I tend to layer with different colors. I took like a dark brown, I did a purple in there. I even think I threw in a little bit of black um, just to give it that depth. Um, I have in the past used latex right here, um, but I decided not to do that. As you, as you can see, there's the, the darker colors that I use. Um, I decided not to do that just to give you guys a really quick, easier way to do this. If you want to add some latex in there to give it that texture look like it's a mask, hey, feel free. It's Latex is cheap. Um, I use this blood also that I got off Amazon. Um, sometimes I'll add a little cornstarch to it to thicken it up, but I just didn't have any cornstarch. So we didn't do that today. I ran out. So we're just going to take a Q-tip and we're just going to slowly add some fake blood in there to give it that bloody, gory, whore look that we absolutely love. Um, careful not to get this stuff in the eye. It does burn. It also tastes like shit, so please don't get it in your mouth. <laughs> As you can see here, I got this crap all over the place. Um, it does dry to a weird crust. I'm not sure how much I like this blood. That's why I add in the cornstarch to give it that thicker, non-crusty feeling. And there we go, we got uh, most of our blood. Um, I'm just gonna keep adding more to give it that icky feeling. And ta-da! Clean up uh, around our mouth, because that stuff is disgusting. <laughs> and all right, all right, this is our finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, it's quick, simple, easy, nothing too Nothing too strenuous, not, not, not a lot of crazy F, S, F, X. Um, so it's super cheap. I will list everything, like I said, in the description of everything I use. I get most of everything off Amazon. Sometimes I'll run over to Walmart or Target to get something cheap. Um, just goes to show you don't need to spend a lot of money to make things look good, to get, you know, to get the look that you want. Um, everything I, I use, like I said, is pretty cheap. Um, I really enjoy doing face paints. If you guys enjoyed this one and it, it helped you out, don't be afraid to give those thumbs up. Drop a comment if you have any questions. Um, don't be afraid to subscribe because I would really appreciate that. 
Um, I got many other videos that you guys can check out if you appreciate this one. I just did a Pennywise one last week, so if you want to check that out and tell me how what you think about it. Um, other than that, if you want to catch me live streaming while I play some games like Friday the 13th, Phasmophobia, I'm over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash deadmamalive. You can find me there. All those links will be down below. I appreciate you guys hanging out. I hope you guys liked it. Um, and I will catch you next time. Slash later. <laughs>